Oh, spider. Creepy. Does it have the hand? Yeah, it does have the hand mandibles. Oh, they're like kind of. Well, it actually has. They look like frozen hands. I'll have to the take ends a look of at the it. Mandibles. But yeah, so he opted for um, medical euthanization instead of uh, instead of battling Alzheimer's, which I can kind of respect. Because like, my mother had a relative. I think it was one of her great aunts, and um, and we went to go visit her, and she had been. I would say battling Alzheimer's for years or something, but, you know, we went off to go see... I don't really know if there's much you can do to fight it, per se. Not really. There's some, like, medications and so, some, like, exercises, but she was definitely in the throes of it. You know, didn't know where she was, didn't know what was going on, so on and so forth. It's so sad, because... It was bleak. So much of what a person is, is their memory, because... In a way, memories constitute who you are. You're, it informs your experiences, and your experience inform your thoughts and opinions. So... Yeah, without those memories... Yeah, I don't really know what would become of a person. It always perplexes me in fiction okay. when the character gets amnesia. But they still remember speech. Like, you know, language. They might even remember... You know, they're... Maybe... But then they don't remember their names and whatnot. And it's like, well, what kind of amnesia is that? It'd be interesting to look into the varying types. Because I know there's the, like, short term. Which is probably one of the more common if you've experienced something traumatic. What the heck? Long term, though, I don't know. Hmm? Oh, what are you looking for? I don't know. I'm just bewildered. Well, get get a lay of the land. Let's take a look. Oh, you can't direct your camera? Just take a look around? I'm trying. Well, yeah, you could port to a dude. Oh, yeah, there's, there's her there. answer. He just had to... Why? Why death? I didn't... Sometimes when I'm like running on walls, death will just jump and I have honestly no idea why. Whoop, whoop. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so... It... How do you lock on? There has to be a way for you to lock on before jumping. Nope. I was about to say leaping and jumping, and it would be like jeeping, but that would be what? bizarre. Why? You can grab. Why? You can grab the random beetle, but not the guy on the platform. Keep grabbing in a line. You'll get it. But... Okay, there has to be a way to do this. The thing is, that pulls a smaller object to you. There Finally. we go. Finally. There you go. Whatever tries the charm. It was just kind of bewildering. It's like, grab the bug. No, I don't want to grab the bug. Grab the bug. Stop it, death. You're doing the dumb thing. Please don't do that. Okay. Uh, Candles everywhere. Okay, so this'll this will open the door at the very least. Oh boy. Okay, so that's that's the way to get back the way I've came. Mm -hmm. Where does this go? Well there's a spot. Stupid bugs, get out of here. Does placing someone there lower the gate? Uh, yeah, it should. I do kind of wish I'd just conjure them on the buttons instead. Of having Rather them, than like, waiting walk. for them to travel. Yeah. I really like that lighting. Yeah, every once in a while he touches his chest, like, hmm. Contemplates it momentarily, and then back to the action. Do you think this is 
getting sticky. I'm worried the wound is festering. Nope. Still dry. Good. Doesn't look like there's anything I can do in this immediate area. Maybe, um, like, no? I don't know. Unless something rises up out of the mist. Could be. I mean, Can't it looks like there's a room in there, but we don't have, uh... Unless you get up the stairs and it's just a boss chamber. Let's see. I mean, there are increasing numbers of spider webs. Yeah, what was the, uh, golem thing I mentioned? Discworld novels. I think it's something of clay. Like, feet of clay? Hmm. It's, a. Uh, they always had some kind of weird, weird titles. Well, doesn't to have feet of clay mean stubbornness or something? Uh, might be. I, I don't know. Why do they have me resummon my ghosts? It seems arbitrary. Not a big deal, just arbitrary. Oh, I know what it is also from. What? Um, it's a biblical reference. I didn't realize. Now that I'm thinking about it, it was the lyrics to one of those church songs that we learned as children way, way back in the day. How... What was it? I think it was like the tale of Josiah. And... He had taken the throne of his father, but his father worshipped a number of deities, and they specifically made a point to say that their idols that they created for them had feet of clay. Interesting. But sometimes they were, you know, embellished with metals and gold and whatnot. Oh, he hit me with, he tried hitting me with his face. I don't think he actually succeeded. I guess I really don't need to use my, uh... Oh. What was that? That's a new move I didn't know I could do. Hello! Coffins! The interesting thing about that tail is it's connected to a completely different spine. Yeah, well, he can attack with it. Like, yeah. it's like, he's like an alternate version of the arena champion. Ooh. What if I can actually summon a... Uh, Whoa, groups? that looks cool. I always like bug designs in games. Yeah, you would probably like the, uh, the Scarab uh, Kingdom from World of Warcraft. I don't think we've really ever. Like, oh, you mean the. Anubacon, Anubarak, Anubar, whatever. Were they just called the. They weren't just called the Nubians, right? They might have been. They had, like, some kind of semi basic name. But yeah, they were, like, an ancient race of bug people that, like. I guess like, turn themselves into undead to last long? It's sure. interesting because that word also refers to... Like Anubis? Well, actually, like, Africa. Really? Anubian? Yeah. Not, not a, a Nubian. Nubian. Starting with the N. There are a lot of different names. Uh. But... I Actually, wasn't that culture in World of Warcraft somewhat inspired by, say, Egyptian culture? Well, absolutely. From dust, I am reborn. Okay, the Nerubians are an offshoot of the Karaj. Huh. Oh, they're called Nerubians. I don't, unfortunately, know enough about World of Warcraft lore. I should. I, why? I didn't press A. Use nonsense. Okay, so we finally got this door open. 
I like how we went through all this trouble just to raise one bridge and open a door. It was always very interesting reading about the histories of Egypt and Carthage and their interactions with the Greeks and such. You had to resummon the ghost because of that line in the floor before the doors. Yeah, I just don't understand why you have to re resummon the ghosts like so much. Because it would be like line, resummon point, and it's like, just let me keep them. Okay, left. Yep. I guess honestly, get them, my minions. I'll go loot this thing. Yeah, just more relics of Fated Goth. Nothing fancy. They're actually. Th oh, yeah, there's actually a thing on there. Oh, that bug got blasted. Huh. Kind of, uh, that's an interesting bridge. I wonder, how, like, how it is structurally with the chain suspensions. Oh. Being as uh, ma mismatched as they are. Well, in that case, since they're not taught. Uh... <laughs> Did you ever have to do the bridge building exercises in tech class? Where you had to try to develop a bridge that could withstand a certain amount of weight and all the kids in class would see if theirs was yes the strongest? Yes and no. So, we no? didn't really... Oh, oh cutscene. Oh, spider, spider, spider. <laughs> I hoped a champion would arise who could face the corruption. And you have come far, horseman. A pity that your journey ends here. Not enough, Rob. Really, Basileus? Gonna fight us here? Well, he's distracted by your goons. I, yeah, I guess so. You cannot stand against me. Howard. Oh, it's a kidna. Yeah, that it is. Now, does it use the same animations and model as the Spider Queen from the previous game? Less teleportation, so I don't know, actually. It it actually is her. It's just less fleshy and chitness and more, would you say, stone and bone? Possibly. I always say chitness, but you say chitness. Chitin no, you might... say chitin. What? I say chitin. You're always the one correcting me and saying, no, it's chitin. Well, one way or another, it is chitin. <laughs> oh, fine. Get a minions. I like this battle music. It's good battle music. I just like the string instruments. Get him, battle stunlocking minions! Ow. Yeah, see how the... Those... Frontward facing... Claws are actually hands that are fused in place. Kinda? Yeah, see? See how they're, they have fingers? Oh, those claws! I was looking for the, uh... Not the feet. The main ones by the, her face yeah, there's and kind then of like secondary thumb ones. Things. Yeah, there are thumbs and They look like fingers. weird, weird spidery mittens. Yep. But they oh, definitely infer fingers. 
Ooh. Off its head. Gross. Whoa. Death means business if he's taken that form. Okay, the fangs of Echidna have drained life from countless creatures over the millennia to feed the beast's hunger. Now fashioned into weapons for death, Echidna's fangs siphon health from foes, weakening them only to strengthen the Reaper. You can let me read sometimes. You've been talking a lot. Mm. I, I think you have plenty of screen time. I don't, I don't feel... I just like reading lore. Yeah. I'm allowed to like reading lore. Oh. It's the only opportunity I have to use my other voices. That's true. Because don't you notice how there's a distinctive talking voice versus a reading voice? I mean, you could just use your re your reedy talky voice all the time. But if I used my reedy talky voice all the time, I would sound like this. Well then. And it would be really weird. <laughs> I don't actually know if these have life, life steal. They might. Because what's your reedy voice? I mean, it's not too far off of my normal voice, I think. Really? Oh god, we've got just double spider fists. It's creepy, I don't like it. Holy crap, these do damage. Alright, let's see if I can take some hits. Let's see if this heals me or gets me Reaper energy. Come on. Bite me. Bite me! It... No, Bite me! It, it's just... It's... There it goes. Bite Really? Me. Okay. okay, now he's... I think he was just caught... No, it doesn't look like Echidna's fangs actually get us... Oh. We got health from that. Those things make such cute little squeaks. I feel bad for them. Oh. I'm never gonna find all of those. Nor do I care that much. I'll care more about, uh... I'll care more about one hunting, one hunting um... Darksiders 3, I think. Darksiders 2, probably not. We might go for the Abyssal Armor if we have time. There is Abyssal Armor? Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, we've still got a ways to go before I think we get to that point, though. Okay, so these give Reaper form. Okay, so I'll probably switch back to the Axe. I like the idea of weapons that give Reaper form, but I need a, I need a weapon that gives uh, lifesteal. You know, upgrade the weapon to have more life steal. No, you can't. You can't upgrade boss weapons in the same way. Oh, I know. I know what's down here. There's two chests on the map, but I was like, you know, why didn't I go get them? And the answer is because I'm a dummy. Uh, we can't. We can't get them because we got to get teleport first mm. and then come back, which I don't know if I'm gonna do. So. Technically, have you defeated the Psychomaron? Yeah, we have completed the Psychomaron. So that means you have two of the three generals, or all three? I think I have all of them. You have all of them. So do you go back to the king? I think so, yeah. Yeah, back to the dead king's command. So back up to the Eternal Throne, I think? Eternal is such a nice word. Hmm. Oh. It is. Just fun to say. Now I can't fight this guy, right? Call this the kingdom of the dead. I haven't met a corpse that hasn't tried to kill me. There are creatures in this realm that will not stop at trying. I call them the bloodless 
Nightmares of claw and bone that cannot be slain by common steel. There must be some way to kill them. Bloodless or vulnerable, the things of this spirit. Like kills like, is that it? Yes. And as the dead king is quite fond of his bloodless, kill as many as you can. How are these bloodless formed? Souls must pass through the city of the dead before they are reborn in the well. But some escape their torments to haunt other realms. Thus do the dead walk again, and the most corrupted of them become the bloodless. Their flesh can be destroyed, but their spirits resist killing. Okay, flip saw. Let's see. Power slam. Okay, so these Impressive. these are just whatever. You would have done well so times heavy attacks, axe training. And I don't know if I care about the other ones. Uh, gauntlet, buckler, arm blade, claw. We'll work on them when I actually have use for those. I've been sort of inspecting these characters' faces and trying to decipher what they may have looked like when they were human. It's a little bit difficult. In his case, gross. <laughs> oh. Rusinov's axe is not actually special. Oh, no it is. It's a possessed weapon. Hmm. Okay. That health on crit. Okay. Seems unfortunate that souls have to be recycled in this way. I think they'd be traumatized in the process. Crit chance or health on crit? <sighs> Probably crit chance. I'm gonna see if I can do things for this. I'm not actually sure if this is an axe that I wanna use. Because realistically, I don't want health on crit on one of these. We need a uh, we need a new set of possessed scythes, good ones. Oh, these aren't. Oh, these are new. Okay, that's good. Okay, so brutal slice of fire. Uh, leave that alone for a second. Sack sack the mace. Okay, fire damage or health on crit. There we go. Yeah, so people people were calling me out for not paying attention to this, and that's kind of deserved. Because I was not paying attention. Mm -hmm. uh, wrath regen. Oh, that's neat. Grim Claws of Fire. Let's sack the old possessed scythes. Here. Health on crit. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so we want to change these, this one's name to... Um, <laughs> What's infusion? Uh, I want to build these entirely for health. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so... We want to upgrade this one. So these possess double sights. I'm just gonna sack because it's they're identical. Okay, and we want crit chance. Wrath on crit would be nice as well, but I don't think I want to do that. Okay, wrath steel could be interesting, but I'll look in that into that in a second. Brutal buckler, crit chance, crit. Ch Damage, okay. I can give that one up. We might as well sack some of these white items. They're not helpful here. Is it weird that I'm contemplating how greasy Death's hair might be? Pretty greasy. 
<laughs> pretty damn greasy. Because I'm just looking at it, and I'm going, yeah, I do the whole part down the middle thing. And I, uh, my hair is longer than his, He is obviously. a greasy boy. I don't think he knows how to shower. Well, I'm wondering, do these... I, obviously, the dead have no need to take care of corporeal forms because they don't really have them anymore. Ugh. Zombies? I don't... Ugh. I don't know what they could do to help themselves. I think and there were some undead in stories that I've read that actually tried to preserve themselves with, you know, formaldehyde and other things, and it was just like, ugh. Ugh. I mean, I, I suppose it works with real ones for at least funerary purposes, but... E. Uh, yeah, I was, uh, I think we were talking about this book the last time we were playing. But the uh, Kings of the Wilds, the Immortal, um... The Immortal Bard? Yeah, the Immortal Bard was talking about, like, the ways he was trying to preserve himself. Yeah, I thought that there was a story in which someone had dipped themselves in wax, or, like, there are, there are a number of other stories where they create fake faces for themselves, they lacquer or veneer their teeth... Or, I don't know, weird stuff, but... Okay. Yeah, undead trying to maintain themselves is difficult. Wrath for kill. But, yeah, the demons, the Nephilim, I mean, I don't... I would have to say the cleanliest would probably have to be the angels from the previous game. But I don't really know if any of them really have any of the pitfalls of normal human beings would with you know grease, oil, sweat, acne who knows what else I think I'm going to toss in my old possessed hammer that we had leveled up because that actually wasn't very good let's see do you know what I want to do at some point? Go through all of the... Oh, I was hoping for crit damage. Oh, well. All of my favorite anime and manga and television series and graphic novels and shows and just tabulate people that have scars, especially heroes. Where are the scars located on their face, and what's its significance? Have you ever thought about that? Yeah. How either during the course of a series or from the very start of a series, a character has a scar, and usually it's over an eye, across their nose, mm. on one cheek. Uh, what other ones have I seen? Forehead scars. Though usually those ones are... Like a brand or a specific symbol or something. Hmm. And usually there's single lines, but there's also claw marks if there's more than one. And there's X's. I don't quite understand the X's unless it's something that someone does in battle. Say, a, f a fencing match. Usually people do like an X across someone's cheek or something. As a permanent mark. But, I don't know. I, I don't really see Death having any scars on... I mean, his face is completely obscured by a mask. I mean, currently he has the stones embedded in his chest. And did he have scarring on his shoulders? They weren't tattoos. They were definitely scarring, right? But they were symbolic yeah. scarring. Yeah, he's got, like, special scarring. As opposed to, like... Anything else. Sorry, mildly distracted, trying to figure out um, if any of these are really helpful for what I'm trying to do here. Crit damage. Crit, crit chance. Okay, good enough. I look like some kind of stupid desperado, but whatever. I don't like these, like, capes. The brown cape doesn't look very good. <laughs> the rest of it looks fine. Uh, I think we're just supposed to go in here, yeah? My king, what would 
you have us do? Suffer! Too long you have slumbered. Too long you have forsaken your duty. I have no more use no. for you! What is this? I don't like being toyed with. They failed me. But you have earned my gratitude. I will send you to one in my kingdom who knows the way to the Well of Souls. But first, there are demons that you must face. I've already faced and killed many. Not like these. There is great power bound in that amulet. But your shame stays its unlocking. I regret nothing. Oh, I can see beyond your flesh to where the true battle rages. Why were we getting hit by coins? As I... that cutscene changed? What? It was just like... Well, it was sort of like how you got experience for Basileus while uh, entering the room. Yeah, I bet it was just... It was continuing like the that. short moment. Okay, the Lord of Bones. Soul Splinter. I'll let you read this one. The Lord of Bones has looked into Death's soul and unlocked previously hidden potential. Death may now split his spirit into two halves, allowing them to be moved and controlled separately from his physical form, which turns to stone and is virtually invulnerable. Okay, so all of those ghost guys got killed, but now we just have one. Have your own soul. Horseman, what did you learn from the Lord of Bones? I suppose your king lives up to his name, if not his bargains. The dead king has granted you passage to the city of the dead. Who must I seek in the city of the dead? You should worry more about the one who seeks you. Answer my question, Scarecrow. <laughs> There's no fun in simply telling you. Then speak no more. I'd keep watch on my own neck if I were you. What will I find in the City of the Dead? Besides more corpses. Something far more precious than sinew and bone. Souls, Rider. From every kingdom under a dying sun. In the city, their past life is cleansed, that they may pass through the well and be reborn. Many souls do not survive this purification. Some are driven mad, and a few even manage to escape their bonds. 